Early in the morning, on December 7, 1941, Imperial Japan bombed the U.S. Navy base at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. Hours later, in faraway Los Angeles, Toyo Miyatake was photographing a fancy wedding. Suddenly, agents from the U.S. government barged in. They arrested several men and took them away. Up and down the West Coast, leaders of the Japanese-American community were rounded up and taken away. Bankers, priests, newspaper reporters, even teachers. Where had they been taken, and why? Families were given no information. The next day, the United States declared war on Japan. Some Americans were afraid the Japanese military would attack again, this time on the mainland. Were Japanese Americans along the West Coast planning to sabotage the United States? Would fishermen signal to Japanese submarines where to creep into U.S. ports? Were farmers sending coded radio messages to the Japanese military from their fields? Rumors flew from person to person, newspaper to newspaper. The U.S. government acted swiftly against all people of Japanese ancestry. Their radios, cameras, and weapons were considered contraband and were confiscated. Bank accounts were frozen so they could not access their own money. Curfews and travel restrictions were set up. No one was allowed to go more than five miles from home, and everyone had to be back in their houses by 8 p.m. What makes an American? Japanese and Japanese Americans were afraid, too. They had the face of the enemy. They needed to show they were not disloyal to the U.S. government. Mothers pulled kimonos from the closet. Fathers took calligraphy off the walls. Books, letters, and photographs from relatives in Japan were heaped in a pile. Everything was burned.